Cena in the game. These men have waged war numerous times over championship gold, and each encounter was more memorable than the last. And he gets out of the way. John Cena, filled with heart and determination. Right now, what must be going through his mind, King? Well, I, for one, am excited to see him here. This is a draft pickup we should all be excited to see. John Cena with the offense. When I think about the history that Triple H has written in this career, it's amazing. I think back to his incredible entrance at WrestleMania 22 when he faced John Cena in Chicago. That procession to the ring set the tone for the entire match. I mean, it was awesome. What a decapitating lariat. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. And down he goes. And he reversed it. Good move there. King, I know you spoke about WrestleMania 22, but let's think back to when the Cerebral Assassin truly took his first steps towards sports entertainment royalty when he defeated Mankind in the finals of the 1997 King of the Ring Tournament. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to go with something historic that happened in 1997 as well. That summer, Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid formed the Renegade Group of Degeneration X. What about that, Cole? Of course. I mean, WWE wouldn't even have had an Attitude Era without them. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Oh, jeez. Gosh, right now as I think about Triple H and pay-per-views, I can't help but think of his match at WrestleMania 29 versus Brock Lesnar. That was such an emotionally charged battle where this time Triple H's career was on the line. Man, I get goosebumps just thinking about it, Cole. This isn't good, King. No, not at all. King, I don't like the look in his eye. The table. The table. Oh, my gosh. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Something tells me this won't be good. Oh, not again. The table. The moment in WWE history that you just brought up, King, right. John Cena's win in the main event at Judgment Day 2005 was one of the roughest, toughest matches in the annals of wrestling. Right. You know, our friend John may have come out on the wrong end of it, but yeah. you, I am sure, take pride in just having been a part of it. Oh, you're right, Michael. That was some match. And I know JBL likes to make excuses and still tells people he was sick that day, but you know what? I don't think that would have made one lick of difference. Nothing was going to stop John Cena that night. This could be huge. He's going to take a chance here. Oh, my. John Cena. Oh, look at the emotion. And I think he's begging him to bring it. He was one step ahead on that one. I have to say, when I think back on all the epic matches I've seen and been a part of in WWE, for pure entertainment value, John Cena's match against our friend JBL <laughs> at Judgment Day 2005. Most incredible move by John Cena. And after that, they wisely retreat from the ring. John Cena is just so electric. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Oh, no, no! Don't do this! Don't do this! Oh, man! That's it! Did you hear that? I'm just glad I didn't feel it. Great offense 
by John Cena. And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. And Triple H, what offense. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. Crashes right into those steps. And he gets back in. Oh no! Watch out! Now back to the ring. And directly at a successful title defense from John Cena. Let's go to the highlights here. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion representing the Axis, John Cena. I don't know. I think he's still out. The team.